All right, coming up next, we get to this flyweight matchup between Wilson Hayes and Demetrius Johnson. So another massive moment for the UFC's only flyweight champion, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson here tonight. The only flyweight champion in UFC history has kept it going. He has evolved every step of the way, and it is gonna take an unbelievable championship performance to dethrone the greatest 125-pound fighter of all time. Demetrius Johnson is a very pure mixed martial artist. He started out in MMA, so he's always trained in every single aspect of the sport, and he's always trained hard. He's a gifted athlete, tremendous speed, and he's constantly looking to finish fights. So here's the former UFC flyweight title challenger, Wilson Hayes, fighting out of Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Eric Del Fierro in his corner, as usual. He's learned a lot from Dominic Cruz, and we've seen him incorporate some of those things into his striking game over the last several fights. This is a serious force at 125 pounds, Joe. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Hayes is two years his senior. Johnson will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 27 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 22 wins, 8 losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Wilson Hayes! And the action is for the Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go with live action here from Air Canada Center. Great to be back in Toronto, Ontario. So here he is, the UFC flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson, still undefeated at 125 pounds. You know he's got some power, but the submission game has really been there in the UFC. Nine career wins by submission. You got to think the opponent is mindful of that going into this one tonight. Nasty counter to the body. Oh, straight right. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Now a level change. Fantastic counter throw here on this takedown attempt. Neither fighter is really doing anything. He transitions to the north south. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Inside control here. He's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. And he gets it. Johnson stays committed to the Kimura here. This is it! This is it! He got and it! He got it! Nicely done. He was forced to tap. He got locked into that submission, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory.
So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by top out due to a Kimura, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. So with the target planted firmly on his back as usual, the UFC's only flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson, finds a way to get it done yet again. It is just a marvel watching this guy perform and mix all of the martial arts together seamlessly, as conditioned as any fighter in any division, and maybe has the best technique when it comes to mixing all the martial arts as well. So no surprise that DJ with style points gets the job done yet again here tonight.